Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with just a very quick video in which I want to talk about a few things that have happened lately within the Clash of Clans war community. Um, some of you guys may have heard about this, and honestly, I don't have all the information probably. I'm not as informed as I like to think. Uh, so there might be some things you can leave in the comments that I'm leaving out uh, that go to, the, to this story, but for the most part, I'm going to talk about the big stuff that's happened lately and kind of where I think the Clash of Clans war scene is going to go in the future because um, the thing that triggered this uh, this video that caused me to make it um, is Jake, uh, the One Hive Raids YouTuber from the kind of original One Hive clan. Uh, he quit Clash of Clans in YouTube. Uh, he said he hinted that he might come back at some point, but as far as we're concerned, he's taken a pretty long break, if not a permanent break, from YouTube and Clash of Clans. Um, and that was a big surprise because Jake, you know, he founded the entire Clash of Clans uh, war YouTube movement. Uh, him and like Hulk were kind of the first few people to start making videos on, you know, three star strategies in war. And they basically what they started branched out into channels like mine, channels like, you know, Power Bang, Ash, you know, pick pick whatever channel you want because there's so many of them these days. But they kind of started that and he was at the center of that um, for a long time and it seemed like uh, he might, might have kind of his content was kind of drifting away and it, maybe you could tell that it seemed like he was uh, you know it was starting to become a little bit of a of a chore for him to do you know you can come, come up to your own conclusion with that I'm not gonna talk too much about that but he announced that he was gonna stop doing YouTube and it, it, it was a big shock because um, that's a big piece of the war community as far as uh, different attacks and different things being shown on, you know, a public site, a big piece of that's gone. And we've seen clans, I think like PWC, if I heard that right, their clan is kind of disbanding, which is the Clash with Maddie YouTube channel. Uh, I think you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what's happening. And that kind of piece of the war community is falling away as also. So we're seeing a few different pieces of the war community kind of drift away. And some people are, you know, saying the community is dying. And honestly, in my personal opinion, I don't think it's dying. I think it's shrinking. I think we're seeing people who have been, you know, in the war scene for a long time, who are bored of the game and are just, they're going to leave their choice. Um, nothing against them. I think, you know, if you're not having fun in the game, why would you play it? Uh, but I don't think that's what's going to happen to the entire war community. I think just a fraction of it. And I say that because Town Hall 10 right now, at least in my eyes, is one of the most balanced town halls we've seen, uh, besides maybe like Town Hall 9 back like a year or two ago when it was uh, a very fun town hall level to be at. But besides that, Town Hall 10 is extremely balanced. Um, maybe one tweak to miners and bowlers can give it that next little boost to be, you know, one of the most balanced town halls we've seen. I'm having a ton of fun as it is right now. I think other people in Genesis can agree with that, and maybe you guys also. Um, town Hall 9, you know, it's a little overpowered with the level three bowlers. Um, the bowlers do make it uh, pretty easy to three star at some points, but it's not bad. It's not broken. I think it's still competitive. Um, the Town Hall Nine still have a challenge in the arranged wars to three star all the bases. Um, sometimes there's attacks left over, but those are also strategically used uh, as scouts or as two stars um, on certain bases. So we're seeing, you know, Town Hall Nines, Town Hall Tens, and uh, Town Hall Elevens especially because their dip attacks are so important. Um, all those are being used in war. I think that the town hall levels are all fairly balanced, and I think that the that war is in generally a good place right now. Um, people, you know, always ask for changes because typically um, we the grass is always greener. But I think that for the most part, clash is in a pretty good place right now, and I think because of that, we're not going to see a huge loss in the war community. Uh, I think in the future, you know, we're going to have this little bump. We're going to have people drop off. But I think the war community will hold strong, and I'm going to continue putting out content um, in the near future as far as I see. I don't see any uh, stopping point for me, at least in the next few months or whatever, as long as the game is still fun, I'm enjoying it. And I think the war community will stay together for the most part uh, because, you know, the game's in a pretty good place right now. Uh, friendly challenges make it a ton of fun just to be on with an army cooked up, and a few changes from Supercell definitely wouldn't hurt. Uh, to help improve the game, make it more fun. But right now, I'm not going to complain too much. I think the game's in a good place. And uh, farewell to Jake. I really uh, enjoyed 
a lot of his videos. It helped me a lot, especially when I was an early player in the game. And uh, farewell to anyone else who's leaving uh, from the war community that's been here for a while. But I think that they are in the minority, to be honest, of people uh, in on the war scene. I think most people are going to stick with the game and will continue to see you know a nice, solid um, war community continue uh, for the next few months at least. So thanks for watching this video. More content to come out soon. See you guys later. Bye, Seth Toronto.